As climate change continues to ravage the planet, many species of big cats are in serious trouble. Cheetahs, snow leopards, and Bengal tigers all face threats of extinction in the decades to come, unless we humans make a concerted effort to rescue them from the brink. For cheetahs in Africa, the hot days only get hotter as carbon emissions rise. Higher temperatures lead to longer periods of drought, making it harder for plants and creatures alike to sustain life, effectively destroying the food chain in the cheetah's ecosystem. Beyond that, rising temperatures are influencing their reproductive patterns, with male cheetahs now showing lower testosterone levels and lower sperm counts. It may be the fastest animal on land, but the cheetah can't outrun a rapidly warming planet. The race to save them or watch them fade away forever is on us. Remaining population, 7,100 members. For snow leopards who live up in the Himalayas, increased greenhouse gas emissions means the tree lines shift toward the poles. And that means 30% of the snow leopards' mountainous habitats will be gone. As a result, fragmentation of alpine areas is leading to isolation among the cats, threatening their ability to mate and leaving the species extremely vulnerable. Remaining population, as few as 3,920 members. For Bengal tigers in India, who represent roughly 70% of the world's wild tiger population, studies show rising sea levels are reducing their coastal habitats, habitats they depend on for survival. The higher ocean waters are seeping into the fresh water sources in their areas, polluting their drinking water. As a result, these tigers must move to higher ground, which leads to more human conflicts. Furthermore, their dwindling numbers and reduced habitats have led to limited genetic diversity, with signs of inbreeding evident in some subpopulations. Remaining population, 3,000 members. If we're going to save these big cats, we haven't got much time left. By preserving their natural habitats, protecting them from poaching, and dramatically reducing our collective carbon footprint, they may have a chance to live on. But it's up to us, all of us, to give them that chance. So let's do what we can, while we still can. It's not too late yet, but it's about to be.